What's up, y'all? It's Friday. I didn't go live. Don't cuss me out. But I wanted to get y'all these videos right quick. Get it out the way. I'll see y'all on Sunday. Listen. DDG close friends messages leaked of him talking about Halle Bailey. Let's get it. One in DDG's close friends leak a message that he posted last night about Halle Bailey. It says, I'm a grown man and I can make my own decisions. We chose to split because of personal reasons. Now it's not a skit. I'm not hurt and I'm not missing out on anything. And her hate game is trash as fuck. LOL. As long as my son is good, I'm good. Now y'all Cap. DDG didn't say that. Guarantee he didn't say that. I've never seen DDG even say y'all tap into my close friends or nothing. People can make these. I don't believe nothing a lot of these people be saying. I'm still going to cover it, but I don't believe it. This is Cap. Leave your thoughts down below because DDG has yet to deny the close friend messages as of yet. But I also haven't known DDG to speak on any woman, especially the mother of his child, in any rude way. So hopefully no. DDG clears this up ASAP. Also, the shade room has pointed out that Holly Bailey and DDG has deleted each other's pictures. So yes. this might not be a skit like everybody think. This might. But be I don't know why everybody would think it's a skit though. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would make y'all think it's a skit? I think he respects her, and I think he respects. Well, no, I don't think. I know he loves that child. So I don't feel like DDG is here to play with her or his son's mother. He loved that baby. Be something real, but I don't believe this close friend messages. That's just me. Y'all take the poll or leave your comments down below. Do y'all believe that this breakup between DDG and Holly is real? I if it is real. real, I understand why Holly Billy was outside shopping yesterday because sis is maxing out that card. Okay, mm -hmm. period. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Until I know she went by piece. herself. But she was by herself. Y'all are crazy. It really meant that that is so disrespectful and I'm really mm -hmm. so surprised with him because he usually respects females from what because I've used to watch him on YouTube and whatnot and I'm just very shocked from this and I really want to wait and hear what Holly has to say I really want to see where her, her it ain't nothing for her to say sometimes you gotta listen to both sides of the story it ain't nothing for her to say because it didn't happen but anyway um I want to get I want to talk about this DDG kind of crashed out on shorty the other day <laughs> DDG goes off on TikTok for questioning his viral nine to five statement. Uh, let's get into it. If you never worked a regular, I don't know why. The... I don't know why y'all keep acting slow. Y'all know what the hell I meant. If you don't want to be a boss, then don't be a boss. Work your job. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't care, bro. I don't even know you niggas. I don't give a fuck if you a boss employee. None of that. It's motor I feel like he was major crash out mode on this one right here. <laughs> major crash out. And I'm only saying that because normally he don't crash out like that. Let me say this though. At some point you can, period. Like <laughs> if he has had enough, okay, and he is up to his peak. All right. He can crash out all he want to, and that will be the moment to do so. But he the one who made the statement. <laughs> so I know. When they make statements, they got to know people going to respond. Matter of fact, ain't no got to know they know because they say things like, oh, shit, this going to hit the tea room. Oh, shit, this going to hit the blogs. They know. They know. Motivational. If you want to get up every day and go to your job, good jolly do it. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Y'all think I give a fuck? And I used to work at TJ Maxx in Kroger. Just because, nigga, I'm fucking lit, rich, and handsome now doesn't mean that I didn't work a regular job. Why y'all hating? And your line and chew. Your line and fucked. Stop playing with me. Y'all starting to piss me off. Y'all niggas act slow. Every time I say something, y'all act like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I think because they don't know what you're saying, DDG, no cap. Some people do get it, though. Some people get it. Some people really don't, though, DDG. I ain't even gonna cap you down. I got what he was saying. I know exactly what he was saying. Like, if you're gonna work a nine to five and you wanna be an entrepreneur, is what he would have had to say for some people, then you could take that money, boom, put it into your business. You get what I'm saying? Is what he was saying, but it didn't come out like that. So here we are. Stop acting stupid. You know what the fuck I meant. Y'all pissing me the fuck off. I can't even take nine him serious, man. Five should only be used. He said, just my opinion, if you aspire to be a boss one day, you have to invest in yourself. None wrong with working a nine to five for your entire life, though. If you cool with it, I just like to motivate people who dream bigger. To fund your own business. Like, I don't think nobody you. should ever get a job and say, I'm going to be the 
ten year best employee of the year. Like nobody should ever. So somebody can get offended by that. Everything <laughs> that because if you ever late too many times, they gonna get rid of you. They don't care what you got going on in your family. That's a true statement. They don't care about nothing. If I'm the business, and you always late and you doing this, I'm firing you. It's plain and simple. I don't. Yeah. Give, I don't give a damn what you got going on because I know I got a thousand applications. And they're going to grind hard because they need this money to, to fund their business or just to work here forever. So I tell people all the time, I'm like, bro, you can't be stuck in no nine to five. It's nothing wrong with a nine to five, but you it's like it. it's what you're doing with the nine to five. You shouldn't be. He literally said nothing's wrong with it. Working a nine to five to take care of your life for the rest of your life. Nine to five. I don't think he was wrong for saying that at all. Nine to five. I don't think he was wrong for saying that at all. Um, and that's where I am with that. Now, um, this is a post of them. Well, this is Neighborhood Talk. Halle, Halle Bailey quietly removes pictures of DDG from Instagram after he announced their split. She probably removed them before. Y'all just didn't notice. <clears throat> Let's get into these comments. Um, I'm about to go break up with Beyonce. Y'all going to post it. Okay. Halle, what you want us to do? I'm putting my bathing suit on right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess the mermaid, I don't know. I didn't like him for her. No way. He was so quick to post that everything is content for him. Nah, I think DDG honestly posted it because if you see him out with some women or he's doing posts with women, people gonna have a problem with that, obviously. Um, the Usher effect strikes again. Oh. The baby warned the world the way he was looking. <laughs> his daddy down in the videos. <laughs> He always trying to embarrass her. I hope she make, I hope she make eat every word. I guess make him eat every word. He couldn't wait to announce it. Um, it seems as though a lot of relationships end after baby comes. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. That's why I never understand why niggas always want to get a woman pregnant all the time. I can't wait for you to have my baby. I want you to. Know. And nine times out of ten, you immediately unattracted to her. Not everybody, but a lot of men. For some reason, either get unattracted to the woman, her ways, whatever, because things change. She no longer has a sexual desires at the moment because I'm taking care of the baby. He is no longer number one. The baby is number one. He is number two. So I, I never understand why it's so like, oh, I want to have a baby, please, so bad. And some, they, they just keep, anyway. <sighs> um, He should have let Usher put the cherry in her mouth then. Okay, Chris. Uh, very demure, very discreet, very much over DDG. Uh, he must don't like good girls. Oh, Hallie, I wanted them to get married. I could see if it was T.I. Like, hey, that's T.I. But Usher? <laughs> what does that mean? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I had to do this for y'all right quick. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.